2,000 TEP customers were left without power. Stephanie has more for us. Law enforcement agencies, including the Tucson Police Department and Pima County Sheriff's Department, are actively investigating several incidents of tampered equipment. I spoke with Tucson Electric and Power to learn more. Within just one month, almost 30,000 TEP customers left without power in southern Arizona, caused solely by the tampering of equipment. Incidents have spanned several locations from Marana to Oro Valley to east of Davis Monthan Air Force Base. Attempt to damage or manipulate electrical equipment can not only lead to serious injury or death, but also creates costly public safety hazards. Joseph Barrio, spokesman with TEP, says they are certain this was purposely attempted. This is not simply a case where um, we had some, some strong winds and that damaged the equipment, or that equipment failed due to age or, or failure. These are, these are clearly instances where someone consciously was tampering with our equipment. Public safety is important to TEP, and they encourage the public to call if they see anything suspicious. Our employees uh, always have identification. They often wear hard hats and shirts uh, and drive company vehicles, all that have our company logo. Now, each incident of tampering could result in felony charges. TEP is also offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest or indictment of suspects in this tampering case. Witnesses with information are encouraged to contact 88 Crime. Stephanie Weaver, News 4 Tucson.